Hi, I'm AJ Hogue of EffortlessEnglishClub.com. Now, a common question I get many times from students, from learners, from our members is this. How do I study without getting sleepy? See, a lot of people, when they start listening to English, they're listening a lot, listening a lot, which is great. Well, they start to get kind of sleepy. You know, the same thing happens to me. It's a common problem. Now, if you think about it, when does this problem usually happen? It's usually when you're sitting inside somewhere. Maybe you're in a library. Maybe you're in your room or your house. Maybe you are, you know, on a subway or on a train or something, a bus. And you're listening and you're concentrating for a while, but then your energy drops and drops and drops and then you start getting sleepy. And of course, when your energy drops and you get sleepy, you're not really focusing, you're not concentrating, you're not truly listening, therefore, you're not truly learning. So, yes, this is a big problem. What's my solution? It's very simple. Move your body. Why just sit on your butt in a chair and listen to English? That's not necessary. Go outside and walk. You know, get an iPod, get your iPhone or your smartphone, whatever, and put your English listening onto your iPod, onto your phone, and put on some headphones and get outside. Walk, move your body as you are listening to English. This helps so much because as you move your body, you create energy. You create physical energy in your body. That also helps to keep your brain awake, keeps your mind awake because you're moving. Also because you can look at lots of different things. You have an interesting uh, landscape to look at. You can look at people, you can look at buildings, you can look at trees, whatever. So your eyes are getting some stimulation. This also keeps you awake. When you're sitting in a room looking at the same wall or the same table for a long time, your mind kind of goes to sleep. Your brain wants to... So you get outside, you move your body, it creates this energy in your body, it wakes up your brain, and that helps you to concentrate better. And because you can concentrate better, because you have more physical energy, you actually will listen more and you will listen longer, and therefore you will actually learn more and learn faster. So don't sit down. In Effortless English, we move. When I do a class live with students, we are constantly having breaks where we jump and dance and move all the time because I know that helps to keep you awake and alive and that helps your brain to learn faster. So don't sit on your butt all the time when you listen to English. Get outside and move, move, move as you listen. All right, I will see you again next time. Bye-bye. Effortless English Club dot com.